Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to Baiju's exam prep. Guys, today we are going to be talking about all the important current affairs. I'm going to be in fact discussing with you 25 very very important questions for your CU set examinations 2020 2022. So guys, if there is absolutely any doubt that you have with the sessions, if you have absolute anything that you want to know about these sessions please feel free to call up our counselors also guys one simple thing if you want to join this quiz please go to www.menti.com and use the code 53830964 to become a part of this session quickly again please go to www.menti.com use the code 5383 0964 to join the quiz. Hi, Belly Burr. Yes, quickly do that, guys. 5383-0964. Okay, that is going to happen on your phone. So, the minute you go on to this website, good evening, movies, good evening, movies, Malik. I'm great. Thank you for asking. So, have a look. Go to www.menti.com. Please use the code 5383-0964. I'm going to start this quiz in the, in the next one minute and there are going to be 25 very important questions. These questions which are related to not only to your static portion but also they are coming in your uh, in the current affairs portion. So if you've read current affairs, if you watch some of our classes, these portions are going to be very easy for you to solve. Quickly guys, come on. I'm waiting for you to join. Uh, www.menti.com 5383-0964 I will be declaring the name of the winners. Remember. And if you are winning, I am going, going to remember your name here. Hi, Deepti. Hi, Movies. Hi, Belieber. Joined? Has everyone joined? Yeah, yeah. Come, let's start. So, I am going to start the session now. Let's move on. Guys, make sure you are offering, uh, offering your answers. There will be roughly 15 to 20 seconds per question. Depending on the question, give it your 100%. Make sure you are doing a, you are giving a fantabulous performance. The very first question. Where is the Weddell Sea located? Very recently, there was a question on Northern Lights. I am sure you people must be remembering. And in that regard, they had also spoken about any kind of lighting which happens in the south as well. Think about it. Is it Arctic, Greenland, Antarctica or is it Africa? Okay, so there are very mixed reviews. Huh? So yes, Antarctica is the correct answer. So I'm going to give you a little bit of explanation with each question because you know that will help you in retaining this question in for example in the future if you have you any ever have questions like this you'll understand. So see uh, the Weddell Sea is actually a part of the Southern Ocean and it contains the Weddell Gaia. So if you understand uh, the boundaries are defined by the uh, by the coastland, the Antarctic Peninsula and the easternmost point is Cape Norwegia at the Prince Martha coast, Princess Martha coast, Queen Maud land. Anyways, next question. This is an important one. And this is actually about the Israel-Palestine issues. We have covered this like so many times. So in which year was the state of Palestine proclaimed? So I'm pretty sure you remember that uh, uh, obviously Palestine initially was uh, actually kind of divided. So, when was the state of Palestine? Yes. See, everyone has voted. Very good. Let's see the result. All right. Great. Very good. So, yes, the state of Palestine was proclaimed in 1988. The Palestinian Declaration of Independence is a statement written by a Palestinian poet, Mahmoud Darwish, and was proclaimed by Yasser Arafat on 15th November 1988 in Algiers. All right, next question. So this is regarding that same issue going on in the Middle East. You must be remembering that entire story which actually surrounded the Suez Canal when Egypt nationalized it. How Britain and France and Israel, they came together to try to take away the Suez Canal from Egypt. Remember, uh, Abdel Nassar. Yes, does it ring a bell? 
very good so if you see this the egypt uh, i think maximum of you are answering correctly which is very very nice so in Ju 26 july 1956 abdel nasser the then president of egypt actually nationalized this thing initially it was jointly owned and operated by british france and you know egypt but then there was a point when Egypt and France and, uh, you know, Britain, they stopped financing projects in Egypt. So the president decided, why not we nationalize this canal, use it to our benefit? Because, you know, we are not getting getting funding from outside. Now, this was actually resulted in a war between Egypt, Israel, France and uh, Britain. Anyways, the next question. But this depends upon your geographical accuracy. If you people have read this point. Which canyon is considered to be the world's deepest canyon? Waimea Canyon, Grand Canyon, Yarluk Zangpuk Grand Canyon, uh, it Itayam Bezino Canyon. Hmm. Yes. So the Yarluk Zangpuk Canyon is in Tibet. It is considered to be the world's deepest canyon. And it is uh, it is about 5,300 meters from top to bottom. So it's a great, great, it's a very deep one. The next question. The Galapagos Island. Where is it located? Haiti, Ecuador, Cuba or Fiji? Haiti, Ecuador, Cuba or Fiji? The group of islands, yes, and it is located in Ecuador. So, Galapagos is located in Ecuador. It is at the confluence of three ocean currents, make it, making it one of the richest marine ecosystems of the world. It is also there in the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, they usually these people uh, talk in Spain, the Spanish, and there are 21 islands. Uh, you know, as a Galapagos is a group of 21 islands here. The next question. Every year on which day the International Day of Sport for Development and Peace is celebrated? 6th April, 17th April, 17th May, 11th October, 24th April. Yes, it is. Uh, 6th April, the International Day for Sports for Development of Peace. For Development and Peace. The next question, and guys, this one is an important one. It's a very important one, actually, because it is talking about the recent world events that you should know of. What is the full form of Katsa? Countering Austria adversities through Sanctions Act, countering Australia adversities through Sanctions Act, American adversities through Sanctions Act, or Citizenship Amendment Act through sanctions. Yes. How can you people not know this? All of you must be remembering that America is a place, guys, which has given up a lot of sanctions on Iran, uh, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. And recently, there was an article in the paper regarding S-400, and Iran is like there in the news all the time. So, this is the answer. The next question. All right, we'll have a checkpoint on the 10th question, hai na? So, this way question, pe aap logo ko results milega. In which country Simpson Desert is located? Africa, Australia, Saudi, or Namibia? It is, yes, Australia. The next question. In which year the Foreigners Act was enacted? Do you remember 1946? We had the interim government of India was made and the certain powers had to be given to foreigners. That was the time when it was made. Just re remember, when was the interim government made? Very good, very good. 1946. Absolutely correct. So, the Foreigners Act empowered the Indian government to detain a person until, uh, uh, until deportation back to their country of origin. 
the tenth question, and then we have the checkpoint. We'll see how many people are doing well. We'll see who has there on the top. Which of the following is the highest active volcano in the world? Very recently, there was a topic. There was a volcanic eruption which has happened. So tell me which is the highest active volcano in the world? Nevada, Ojo, Cel Salado, Mauna Loa, Shivelush. Very good. All four correct answer. Absolutely correct, guys. So it is a Nevada Oja del Salado. It is also Chile's highest mountain. So ye raha hamara checkpoint. Have a look. Let's see who has done well. Magical Rhino, very good. Uzefa Malik, very good. Doctor Centipede, Earthman, Rajdeep, Tweeto, Amili. Okay, the filhal to fastest me magical rhino hai. Uzefa is second and third is Doctor Centipede. Anyways, shall we next question? Pe aate hai. Which year did India officially join the SCO as a full fledged member? The Shanghai Cooperation Organization 2015, 17, 18, or 16. Very good, very good, very good. 2017. The Purna Kumbh Mela takes place every dash years at one of the four places by rotation. Prayag, Haridwar, Ujjain or Nashik. Prayag, Haridwar, Ujjain and Nashik. How many years? Kitte dino me kum ka mela hota hai? It is 12 years. Ekdam sahi. The next question. From which city did Jeevan Rekha, the world's first hospital train, start its journey on the 16th of July 1991? Bangalore, New Delhi, Varanasi, yeah, Bombay. Good, good. So here the answer is B, Bombay. So Jeevan Rekha, jo hai, dunia, India ka first train started from Bombay. Chaliye bhai, agle question pe aate hai. Which of the following, uh, which with which of the following sports are the teams Bengal Warriors, Haryana Steelers, Bengaluru Bulls associated? Cricket, hockey, kabaddi, football. Na achhe, bahut achhe. Kabaddi, hai na? Kabaddi. Okay. Pattu Kamma and Bonalu are state festivals of are state festivals of Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, or Telangana. Yes, Pattu Kamma, Bonalu. So, you know they are Hindu festivals, and the goddess Mahakali is worshipped. Pattu Kamma is a floral, floral festival and dedicated to goddess Parvati. This is Telangana ke festival. Hai. The next question. Sangam literature se, loke, se associated hai. So, Tolka Pier is a famous ancient grammarian uh, of the language of the Dash language. Tamil, Kannad, Telugu or Uriya. Tolka Piyam. The jeweled anklet. Anji. So the answer here is Tamil. And at the Tolka Piyam kya tha? Uh, Tolka Piyar uh, uh, had written the book called Tolka Piyam. So ye gra ek gram uh, grammar literature, grammar text tha. 
and it was written in tamil the best the meaning of this was actually a jeweled uh, anklet then it was a very beautiful one you know anyways tell you next question pe aate hain 17th hai teen aur questions fir ek checkpoint hoga fir 25th question pe hum checkpoint pe jayenge where in india is the first indigenously built atomic power plant located we've done a class on atomic power plants no kalpakkam tarapur kota trombe yes तो एटमिक पावर प्लांट जो है वो हमारा कलपक्कम में है इंडिया इज बिल्डिंग इट्स इंडिजिनस टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ फास्ट ब्रीडर रिएक्टर एट कलपक्कम इन तमिलनाडु इट इज ओन बाय द नेशनल पावर कोऑपरेशन ऑफ इंडिया फिर तारापुर की जब आप बात करेंगे तो दुनिया का सबसे इंडिया का सबसे पहला जो एटमिक पावर प्लांट है वो वहां पर था ठीक है ना चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे आते हैं Capra agathrus hircus is commonly known as a what dog goat cow or hen ekdam sahi hai bhai goat kehte hain ise very good 19th question Dash was the first woman justice of the High Court in India. Dhuma Pal, Fatima Bibi, Dila Seth, Indu Malhotra. Today, women in the judiciary को लेके बहुत सारे questions हो रहे हैं. So Indu Malhotra बहुत ज़्यादा news में थी. Fatima Bibi बहुत ज़्यादा news में थी. So remember, हाँ जी. So the answer is, guys, Dila Seth, the first woman Chief Justice of High Court of India, was this person. Okay, 1991 में ये बनी थी. and she was a member of the law commission of india from 1997 to 2000 and she worked for the patna high court for 10 years 20th question guys check point wala question hai dhyan se jawab dijiyega which of the following is not an intangible cultural asset ich by the unesco is the answer sitar vadan is yoga kumbh mela ya chhau dance तो देखिए ये ऐसा ऐसा क्वेश्चन है ना जो प्रोसेस ऑफ एलिमिनेशन से आप आंसर कर सकते हो मतलब दिस इज नॉट समथिंग जो आप एकदम एग्जैक्टली लिख के रख सकते हो या बिना लिखे आपको समझ में नहीं आएगी बट यू कैन जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन वेरी गुड बहुत सारे सबने सही जवाब दिया सितार बदन ग्रेट तो ये रहा हमारा नेक्स्ट पॉइंट देखते हैं भाई अब ऊपर कौन गया उजैफा आई थिंक समन हैज टेकन ओवर दी अदर देखते हैं नहीं भाई अभी तक हमारी वही जो है न्यूज चल रही है नरेंद्र मोदी आई थिंक आई नरेंद्र लिखना चाहते थे चलिए मोदी जी आप ऊपर हो गए एंड हुजैफा मलिक एंड डॉक्टर सेंट्रीपी टॉप थ्री चलिए बाकी लोग और थोड़ा मेहनत करिए थोड़ा ऊपर आइए एनीवेज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट क ट्रू अबाउट द गेम ऑफ खो खो it is one of the oldest traditional tag games of india first thing second thing 10 players take the field uh in the beginning start the match it is a team game the defenders of the opposite team try to be avoid to be untouched by the chasers is ka answer simple hai kho kho mein 12 log lagte hain theek hai 12 log lagte hain in the game of kho kho chaliye bhai agla question नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस तो देखो 23 तारीख नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस का जन्मदिन था 23 ऑफ जनवरी ही वाज प्रीटी मच इन द न्यूज़ देयर वाज सो मेनी आर्टिकल्स रिटन अबाउट हिम तो इसमें से देखिए कौन सा स्टेटमेंट में नेताजी ने अपनी बुक को लिखा इन व्हिच बुक व्हाट डिड ही राइट पॉवर्टी एंड रन ब्रिटिश रूल इन इंडिया द इंडियन स्ट्रगल अनहैप्पी इंडिया आनंद मात तो सिंपल आंसर है ना पॉवर्टी एंड अन ब्रिटिश रूल जो है वो लिखा था दादा भाई नारोजी ने ठीक है इंडियन स्ट्रगल सुभाष चंद्र बोस जी ने लिखा था लाला लाजपत राय ने लिखा था अनहैप्पी इंडिया एंड बंकिम चंद्र चैटर्जी ये चौट्टोपाध्याय आनंद मात 
तीन और क्वेश्चन है भाई और फिर क्विज खत्म हो जा रहा है गिव योर हंड्रेड परसेंट जितना फास्ट हो सके उतना फास्ट जवाब दीजिए ट्राई टू गेट इन टू दी रेस अच्छा भूत काड़ा भूत ताड़ा कोला इज अ स्पिरिचुअल डांस इन विच इन विच सम रिचुअल इन्वॉल्व वॉकिंग ऑन अ बेड ऑफ हॉट कोल इट इज प्रैक्टिस इन दी कोस्टल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ विच पर्टिकुलर स्टेट केरला तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक या आंध्र प्रदेश देखो अच्छा क्वेश्चन है ये मूवीज में हम बहुत देखते हैं हीरो हीरोइन जो है वो एकदम पूरा बेड ऑफ फायर में चढ़ के चले जाते हैं हाँ जी दिस इज कर्नाटका अशोक चक्र क्लास थ्री वॉज रीनेम्ड एज विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सेवन वीर चक्र महावीर चक्र शौर्य चक्र या कीर्ति चक्र सो इट इज यस शौर्य चक्र चलिए भाई आखिरी क्वेश्चन है ये हमारा एंड ये बहुत ही सिंपल क्वेश्चन है यहाँ पे तो हंड्रेड परसेंट सबको जवाब देना है गलत भी दे रहे हो तो जवाब जरूर देना हु इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू बी टू बी अवार्डेड द नोबेल प्राइज इन फिजिक्स है ना फॉर दैटरिंग इफेक्ट चलो अब अब कितना ऑप्शन दू ओके फॉर बीइंग ऑनलाइन थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर बीइंग ऑनलाइन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग योर टाइम द पर्सन हु हैज वन द टेस्ट टुडे इज डॉ आई बिलीव नरेंद्र ओके नरेंद्र मोदी और नरेंद्र मोदी व्हाट एवर ही वांट्स टू कीप हिज नेम एज सो विद दैट गाइस वी कम टू एन एंड विद द सेशन ऑफ टुडे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग अस योर टाइम प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योरसेल्फ्स एवरीवन प्लीज स्टे ट्यून्ड विद अस फॉर फर्दर सच इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन